and welcome back. Uh, this episode, uh, not so much a uh, fabrication project either. So uh, I seem to get a lot of uh, viewer interaction with uh, wiring. So I am in the process, me and my wife, she actually did one all by herself, of changing out some light fixtures. So we're going to go ahead and change out uh, that ugly to something a little bit more modern. So that's the idea. Uh, general walkthrough, take that off, unwire it. Uh, the safety side of it. Essentially, so long as the light switch is off and stays off, there's no power running. So that's the idea there. So then uh, I guess from that, we're just going to follow along, but it's a matter of taking the fixture off, putting the new mounting bracket on, which I'll show you, and wiring the black to black, white to white, and the grounds where they need to be, putting the new light fixture on. Alright, so up here on the ladder now, this little light fixture, it's, uh, most of these glass bulb shaped ones are probably, they have like these retaining screws, and uh, so you just, you're going to support this and then loosen these screws out. So, a little difficult to do with the camera, but we'll try it. Probably end up dropping it and breaking it or something. comes this. Try not to break your light bulb on the way out. Take your light bulb out. And on this particular one, of course, they're all a little bit different. What we got is this screw and this screw and most of the time these things have a key slot so you have to we're going to loosen these up and because of the way this older fixture was grounded this one i'm on right now actually has the ground wire connected to it so it might be a little bit of an issue in trying to get this off, but break it loose a little bit. There's that one. And then, again, this one has the wire on it, so it's going to be a little troublesome. So, again, all fixtures a little bit different, so more modern ones might not run into this issue until later which I guess you'll see with what I end up putting on so uh, a lot of times the insulation's still in there which is it's good for uh, I guess sake of uh, heat loss and so again with the light switch not being on all of these wires should not be energized so that shouldn't be a problem um, Taking the wire, the old wire nuts off. Maybe. This one's really on there. Kind of feels like the wire nut let loose inside the shell should come off just like that one. Alright, so take that. Um, now this that ground wire which is right there, just gotta get that out. Matter of tug. Alright. So this is 
kind of what we're left with if you are fortunate a long time ago they standardized these fixtures so what you want to see is this type of fixture where it's got two different things on there so we're gonna go get the uh, new parts and come back all right so this is the uh, little bracket piece that came with the new light fixture it's got the the green screw there is your grounding screw and ideally you use these holes that are threaded for the mounting but in this instance because however this works out that I mean I don't know if this is just poor design on this bracket but the because they're off center from each other they're out of rotation with each other so it won't work because those four screws are in line with each other so we're going to use the slots so we're going to put this just this, this is directions uh these ones the way the light fixture is I need to use the inside ones for the light, so mounting the bracket, I'm going with the outside ones. So, just to kind of screw. So essentially, most of these, they got this fancy cap screw on here that all it does is hide the ugly. Serves no purpose other than hide the ugly. And then, you take that off, there's this little tiny little bolt that you kind of, if you squeeze the fixture down on you, you loosen pressure on it and you can just thumb that off real quick. And you take off this funny uh, the shade thing. And that leaves you with what you really need, and that's the wires. So you've got your conductor wire, neutral wire, white, and your ground wire, typically a pair of copper. Most kits come with new little hardware, the wing nuts and the or the wire nuts and the uh, other mounting bolts as well. So so now we're just going to go ahead and rehook up the new ones up there. So up there, up there up there. Here we have it, white to white. Just kind of give it an initial little twist and then put your wire nut on and clockwise, just same situation with the screw, righty tighty. And you kind of go and it eventually starts to resist until you really can't get it anymore. And then do the same thing for your black conductor wire. I like to, these ground screws are barely in there, so I just tighten it a little bit before I mess with that. But uh, this is what I was trying to say on the old one. This was kind of dropped through and grounded to the mounting lug. Whereas on these, on the newer ones, there is, I guess this is where the old met the new, is that they knew they needed to ground things, but the, the fixtures didn't ever really provide a place to do so so your old electricians just grounded it to the all it has to do is really ground to the metal to the chassis whatever you want to call it regardless and that was one way they did it and now the new technology and the new new code everything has a grounding lug so we're going to use the grounding lug All 
All right, one thing that I didn't really do here, but it is practicable. It's a very good practice. A little added uh, help is to use some black electrical tape to wrap around your uh, neutral and your conductor, your black and your white wires separately from each other just to make sure that they don't separate. So with this particular style, it's got these two little machine screws and they're going to go on the inside holes of the old fixture and through the slots here. And this, this may be a different mount from the light fixture that you got. This is just this particular style. So bear with me on yours may be different. For this portion, just because I guess the things don't always line up the way you want, I kind of like to be more underneath this, so I'll move the ladder, but uh, stuff your old wires in if you can. And uh, again, this, uh, you get that, the key slot, you're going to try and feed it through and then twist it on those. So I just try to kind of feel for where it's at. It's difficult with the uh, insulation that they provided, but it's a good thing to have that insulation, so I go with it. Okay, got that one. Now I'm wearing regular glasses, but it wouldn't be the worst idea to actually, if you had safety glasses, to kind of keep all this from falling out on your eyes. But so you push it up through and give it that twist. And uh, once those are locked in those slots, I like to just give it a little bit more tighten. There we go. And then, at this point, before you go any further, this is a good time to test the, your wiring's sound and we're just doing the real easy test here. We're put the light bulb in and flip the switch. Down. So it works. So then I guess from there finish off by putting the rest of it on. Push this up as much as you can. Take that little tiny screw that they gave you, or the bolt. Not bolt, uh, it's a nut. <laughs> Real tiny thing. And just get that wooden finger tight on there. And put on the, uh, the hide all portion. Hides the ugly. Unfortunately, it can't hide in my face, but we go with it. And there you go. Now, don't feel don't feel bad if you can't get this down very fast. This is my sixth one today, so well, my fifth one. She did one, so that's.
That's all there is to it. Uh, again, not a licensed electrician, just a do-it-yourselfer. So if you don't feel confident in doing this yourself, make sure and get somebody who is or is licensed to do so. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, make sure and leave them, and I'll try and respond quickly to you. Thank you.